Hi everyone. Um, good evening. Okay, let me check whether you guys can hear me. Hi guys, can you guys hear me? Let me see. Hello? Okay. Good evening from Singapore, everyone. Um, let's just wait for maybe like uh, two minutes. Okay, I will start the section for today. Um, so today the topic is just going to talk about MT4 versus MT5. Okay, it's just an easy topic. So basically, um, if I finish uh, early, I will just uh, bring you guys to the charge and see there is any trace set up for today. Okay, uh, maybe before I start the session, let me just uh, maybe open the chart. Okay. How are you guys doing so far? Um, okay. Data index is falling. Extension. Okay. Give me one minute, all right. Um, let me just log into the trading wheel. Okay. Okay. Let's just start our section for today. Hi everyone, a good evening from Singapore. Welcome to the webinar. So today's topic is going to talk about MT4 versus MT5. Okay. Um, if you have any question along the way, you can just send in the question as the comment um, below. Okay. Okay, so disclaimer first, guys. Everything in this video is educational in nature. Okay, nothing should be construed as investment or trading advice. If you guys want to trade, please do your own due diligence before you guys trade. Okay, just I want to highlight over here. Okay, risk warning. Nope. Trading forex um CFD carry a high risk of uh carry a high level of uh, risk to your capital and may not suitable for your for all investors so please come enjoy the webinars and study all right so introducing your host today my name is peggy i'm investment analyst okay and a prop trader as well um we are finalists for the best epic research in 2019 20 and 21 and finalists for the best equity research in 2022 and 2021 Okay, so um, the agenda that I'm going to talk about today, introduction to MT4, and uh, second is introduction uh, to MT5, then a key difference between MT4 and MT5, and then which is better, MT4 versus MT5, and top uh, six tips for MT4, MT5. So basically, we already um, know about MT4, MT5. I believe some of you guys already using the MT five or maybe you uh, switch from mt4 to mt5 but i really know that uh i see my get right um you can trade on c trader mt4 or mt5 and you also can trade on the trading view which is you can connect c trader to the trading view account okay so now okay um, this is just a basic introduction to MT4, which is this we already know, which is uh, Meta Trader 4. It just look like it, which it look really similar to MT5. Basically, look really similar. Okay, it's just that 
um, okay, it look very similar, but the difference is just one if you notice is this bar, like the, um, the, the, where you place the trade, like buy sale, right? The color, it look different. And, um, MT4 and MT5, there's quite have a different, which is MT4, okay, and MT5, the market will have more, which is you can trade option, or maybe you can, trade indices here on mt5 the technical indicator is the same uh more sorry uh mt5 is more than mt4 we should indicator 38 versus 30 okay and uh graphic objects have like 44 so basically mt4 is just an upgrade version uh sorry mt5 is just upgrade version of mt4 basically okay it just want to um show you that MT5 has more and if you trade MT5 on your mobile phone now you can move your stop loss and trade profit right on the mobile okay it's not like uh, MT4 which you need to switch to another um, page okay and the key difference we already know uh, forex metal in um, energies uh, for uh, stock indices as well and if you see over here of course uh, MT5 is the upgrade version of MT4. That's why uh, MT5 has uh, provide more than 21 uh, time frame. You can see that which is MT4. We only have like maybe 9 which is M1, M5, M15, M30, uh, H4, H, H1, H4 daily, weekly and monthly. Right? Uh, it's may not enough for the swing trader. Okay? For the order uh, position trader. Okay, but MT5 we have more, which is like 21 time frame, right? You can see that M1, M2, which is like every, almost like every minute, not like say every minute, like M1, M2, M5, you can see here. They also have like uh, hourly, which is H1, go to H4, H6, H8, H12, daily, weekly, monthly. So these are more... Um, like upgrade version and suitable so for like the long term trader or your position trader or your swing trader as well. Okay. Are uh, the chart charting tools? Okay. So MT4 had 31 and MT5 has offer 44. Graph uh, fickle objects includes like all those this pattern. Okay. So I personally now today I use MT5. Okay, and also trade using C Trader as well. Okay, so I really uh, not anymore, which I'm using MT5. Okay, uh, and also MT4, MT5, different broker they have like um, offer different MT4, MT5. Some broker they only offer MT4. Okay, but I see Trader, we have all MT4, MT5, C Trader. Okay, and you also can trade on Trading View. Okay, Trading Order. MT4, they off, offer four type of order, buy stop, buy limit, sell stop, and sell limit, right? Um, which is MT5, they have like six type of pending order, okay? Which is offer two more, which is buy stop limit and sell stop limit, okay? Um, what about economic calendar? MT4, there's no built-in uh, e economic calendar in MT4, which is where uh, MT5 they offer, which is in integrated economic calendar, which is very useful and real time. Okay, if you want to look at MT5, there is okay, if you want to check the news, there is a um, um, calendar for you to look. Okay, which one is better? Okay, to me. I just say I personally like MT5, okay, over MT4. So it depends if like you uh, have been in the market more than 10 years, okay, some of the trader they cannot switch to MT5 because they have been using MT4, okay. But eventually, I believe MT4 will, will be no longer. So like if now you're still using MT4, I think you should start uh, you should start to pick up MT5 and get familiar with it because in the future I think there will be no longer MT4. Of course, MT5 is just um upgrade of the MT4 basically. Okay. Uh, what about pros and cons? 
um, MT4 it people for the beginner actually not that um, pro and con um, okay to me uh, for the pro okay for the MT4 it perfect for the beginner trader because it's easy and simple to use that MT5 um, I don't think maybe because MT4 not really complicated right but if you just in to the market and then you pick up or you start by using mt4 i think you will not ever go to the m ah, sorry if you start with mt5 you will never go to mt4 okay because i i found that um mt5 is much easy to use than mt4 in terms of those like um uh like the trading interface right by using the mobile phone it's really easy if you want to um execute your trade right but mt4 if you want to place your trade you need to go to another window right uh whereas the mt5 you can just execute your trade by the same um window basically there will be pen uh um like the the pending not the pending the panel order there so to me mt5 is much better than mt4 i personally think okay and of course for the cons ones uh, mt4 has a uh, filler trading option than mt5 and mt4 uh, is a little bit slower than mt5 mt4 so uh, you can tell me which one you prefer either mt4 or mt5 okay i prefer mt5 um okay now MT5 allows trading for the pro first, okay. MT5 allows trading for it as well as stocks, indices, commodities, and cryptos. Uh, and MT5 has more charting tool, technical indicator, time frame than MT4. Of course, they have like at least 41, right, just now. And uh, MT4 only has like 9 time frame, okay. And the cons is MT5 can appear to be more complex platform for the beginner. Okay, um, if you use like the robot uh, EA, um, yeah, maybe it's lesser because um, some EA I think they or like developer they only like um, do for the MT4. So if you use MT5, certain uh, EA you may cannot find. Okay um for the tip just you know um you you use the meta trader market for scanner create custom indicator you can also use ea okay for what i know if you like to use the ea yeah you can choose mt4 or mt5 but see trader so far um not many ea that you can uh, like implement right but uh still i use ea on mt5 right Manage your risk, stay disciplined, and just uh, have a uh, realistic expectation. Okay, that's all for today, guys. Just about MT4 and MT5. Okay, um, just a um, easy topic. Okay, now let's just look at the chart since we have time because the topic is just all is about MT4, MT5 and I believe you guys already know that some of you already use that as well you can request okay any pair you want me to have a look for you as you already can see gold is rising right gold is rising over here what we can see here should go reward from this level I think now gold should be at the um extension <sighs> okay let's look at go what's this okay okay now go is that extension one two seven so basically this is my first resistance okay for like for go because now it's all time high so i don't know where is the it will stop so i just use extension to refer at my first resistance okay which is you can see here go to the lower time frame you can see the rejection right here okay so uh prime may pull back from this level okay guys you can see that so i chart here because it's at my um extension 
Okay. Um, you have any question on uh, MT4 and MT5? Because today the topic is just all about MT4 and MT5. Okay. Um, can you guys see my screen? Is can can I see? Uh, a. Um. Okay. Because over here I seem like I cannot see. Let me. Okay, let me just adjust uh, here a little bit. It seem like my green skin is not very. Um. A. Where is this? Okay, just continue. Okay, so um, let's just look at gold since we finished early. So now gold is at my first resistance. I shot from here, so just manage to lo your loss size. Okay, because gold is at resistance level, which is extension one two seven. That's why it's pulling off here. So gold, I think what might um pull back from this level. Okay, um, this is my first resistance, which is the next resistance level that's gonna be 23.76. Okay, um, I pick here because I just use Fibonacci extension, um, to find my um resistance level. Okay, uh, here, nice a pullback. So we will see, um, at least we will target here first for the TP. If you short from here, so it's about 100 pip. Okay, for about 100 pip. Uh, let me know if you have a question on MT4 and MT5 because the topic is quite um, easy. Okay, let's say if they break above this one, definitely I think they will just go all the way to um, 23.75. Okay, again, if we short, we short because again the trend, you cannot hold a position for so long. Because price still on uptrend, you can see that still on uptrend. We can do Ichimoku cloud. You can see that price really strong uptrend right here. Okay, um, you can request any pair if you want me to have a look for you. Okay, um, you can see it's my break above, so you have to watch out. Okay, so I believe um the dollar index is falling. Okay, you can see it falling. It's almost reaching the first um, like support here. This is my first support for dollar index, meaning that they're still falling here more here. You might see above from this level. Okay, if you were to look here, I think my can for if you were to look at market structure for dollar index, I think they they are on downtrend. You can see that here, right? Uptrend price is mega. Higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, and now they make a lower low, lower high, lower low. So um, what you can see here, so I think it's reaching the support level. That's why our um go is at my resistance level, which is extension. So you will see whether you can see any uh price uh the fall from here. Okay. Any pair you guys can request. Okay, if you guys want to short here, just have a tight stop loss. Okay, because if they break above this, they will go to the next another hundred pip, which is one six one point eight, which is seventy three seventy five. Okay. Now look at the um EU. Okay, for the EU again, th this one either I picked here at your first resistance level right here maybe i just move up here um my support still the same okay right here um 
if you to look here again uh eu they break this high right they break this high pull back continue but they might like make a ego high maybe they might make like that or in pattern as long as they cannot close above this um wick which is this um resistance level okay you may short here but again you want to short um right now you just go to you have to wait whether you can see any prior action any confirmation and you can short which is m15 yeah you might you might see the like the divergent here is it divergent here versus here okay they're falling already okay let's see they were gonna fall from here okay because uh dollar index is already uh, approaching the support level okay okay and um go falling already guy any anyone have a quick hand quick uh not quick hand quick finger i think now it's pull back um for scalping or scalper pull back about 30 30 pip 30 pip okay i shot okay um just manage your lot size I shot because it has my um extension. Um, we'll see whether whether we will fall from here. Our target twenty three fifty three. Okay, our target here at least uh fifty pip at least fifty pip. Okay, we we'll see whether we're gonna fall from here. But what we can see here, okay, that is not bad, right? Um, you will look at like um, M five right here. Okay. Uh, rejection uh, let's just see they will pull back at least um you should target here 30 to 50 pip first just um because we we trade against the trend at least 50 pip okay but the support level for h1 is over here pull back pull back support level okay I think you should, should should um just maybe pull down a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, dollar is just bounce off. Oh, please just bounce off from here. Um. um <laughs> so at least we we collect some money. Okay. Let's just say okay. GU. Um. GPUSD is at my resistance level. Okay. If I draw at the wick, this should be my resistance level. But I think this, if you just refer to this swing high, is here. But I will refer here, which is this one. So now, uh, it almost at my um resistance level for GPUSD. Okay. Again, we if you want to go um execute the, uh, the trade right we haven't seen any confirmation like red candle or uh, nothing okay it's just not yet okay it's had a little bit more that's so why you want to be patient but let's say if m5 closing like this um price action maybe you can open a uh, short position uh for the next candle okay we need to see first this nice one but again, you have to wait for M5 or M15 for the confirmation because our list is right here. If you short now, if you cannot wait, you short now, you might have to layer a little bit or have another um, position right here. Okay. You see, look at go, you just pull back a bit, be patient, just have your stop loss. Okay. Okay, now um, let's look at GBP. Okay, GBP, my first resistance right here. Second resistance, I just aim over here, which is you can use extension. So extension here and here. You can just draw, meaning if they break above this, they might uh, go to extension 127 or 161.8, which is 161.8 somewhere around here, right? Here. So either here, you just have to keep a watch out. You just leave it like that. Okay. Um, this is forever sideways for the UJ. So UJ, I'm not trade at the moment because price just sideways in head four. Like just like that. Okay. 
you can see so mean to see this is not a good um pair for you to trade for the uj if the jpy is not my favorite one because it's just ranging right here okay what about your dc chef um okay this is the the resistance level you need to find um first resistance this is just put a swing high i put a swing high right here and this is my multi swing low for the first support okay and another second support i find which is uh, this one right here okay all the way here see um we will see okay whether price will come if you if you want to buy for me i'm not recommended you to buy at the first support because this is just a multi swing low it's not very really nice um like a uh, support level here we will see whether price will break all the way to first support or not okay what we can do here Here we have projection here at 61.8 to support our first um, support level right here okay here right here we'll see um, any pair you guys want to request um, look at oil uh, okay what we can see here this You stretch all the way that will be for daily I zoom to see make it will be my first resistance the level is not very nice but I cannot um find any key resistance is it she could be here I think this could be the one and this is I just put a swing high okay Okay, well, let's go to daily to hit four. Okay, like yesterday, have a gap, we close the gap already. Okay. Mm. Just identify this one as your first support. This in first sub, first resistance, sorry, first resistance in day, which is a second resistance in hit four. Okay. This one um could be my first support. But there is an intermediate support right here. What does it mean? Well, I will keep a look out if priority can break this uh, intermediate support level. Okay. Um, you can request any pair you want me to look for you guys. Okay, go. I go back and look at go again. You can see, it seems like they want to like go up. So if you're happy with profit, um, you can you can close, okay? Because it like it seem like they don't want to come down, okay? But I still I still hold the position, okay? As you hold, we will bank lower than uh rate this month. I'm not sure. I don't know, <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> because I I don't trade uh based on the um like fundamental. I only trade based on technical only. Okay, but I think tomorrow we do have um news, right? Tomorrow, not today. Today I don't think you may not see any uh, move, but who knows? Uh, you can wait for maybe New York market. Okay, you ask me also don't know to be honest. Like you know whether bank will lower their interest rate or not. If I know, definitely I will know millionaire already, right? <laughs> Anyway, if you still have a short position for gold, just short, just press your SL just above the week because if they really break, break above first resistance, they might go quite high to another 100 pip right here. Okay, right here. So I still have small lot size here. Okay, I have still have small lot size. Okay, so as long as a price cannot really can go above this one. Okay, if 
uh, because we we buy right buy right you have to wait for price to pull back and you buy but because our goal is already make all time high right you can see that all time high for gold right you can see all the way all time high here so we don't know whether gold will stop where but i think it will go all the way to money okay just a predict for the month okay this is uh money for go okay yeah okay based on what we can see for money you may can see like that you don't make complete like wave or wave five here or like here or wave five here which is use using the bullish um channel okay so i think they still can go up but over here somewhere here which is 2347 which is already go above already right so i don't know we'll stop here or not um of course go in the future will be expensive anyway so i'm easily complete wave three four now going to wave five now i'm still Wait for wave five, maybe right here, upper um uh bullet channel line, which is maybe somewhere here, which is around I don't know, maybe twenty here in the future. I don't know when we can go, but this is a monthly time frame, okay? This is just a monthly time frame, okay? Okay, any 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 pair you want me to have a look? Okay, falling, I expected at least 50 pip. A good enough for me for scalping gold, 50 pip. Okay, any pair, you guys want to have a look? Maybe we go to um, indices, okay? Indices here, um, H4, definitely here it's going to be first resistance. Um, maybe second resistance, right? And you can see that. Last Friday, price come to my support level, go up now. Price is, if you can see here in head four, you know that already there is a bad divergence right here, and it seems like they're making a like M pattern. This is price pull back to the neckline. You sell um, TP for support, and then you can see this are overlap, a resistance level. Here, this is the US thirty, same. Um, you see, if you were to look at H4, you will see the pattern really clear, right? Um, you see, it, um, from this swing low to swing high, you can see the price. Let's back for resistance. We do have a uh, fifty percent Fibonacci retracement to support your level. Okay, here. Yeah. Okay, go falling already, guys. Like he go is at twenty three sixty two, okay. It it is is falling. You know where I put my stop lot. My stop lot is at two three sixty seven. Okay, my I have very tight stop lot for gold, because it really big above. I don't want to like lose that money. Okay, here for the Dow Jones, any pair. You may have to look uh deck. Um, the level still here. You can see the price is mega down daily, which is lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, right? Which is um, uh, I don't know how to draw because price is not expect this um, like resistance it go up until here, okay? But it's still come down, coming down. If you break here, it just is your support level. But again. My very nice support level is here. This one could be intermediate support. Okay, right here. Any pair you guys want me have a look for you? Uh, by the way, tomorrow Singapore tomorrow uh is a Singapore uh it's a public holiday tomorrow. Okay, so. Is this um holiday at your hometown, your home country? Okay, price falling for gold is falling already. Okay. 
we see how far they can fall. We still have quite a minute, uh, have like at least 20 minutes. Okay, let me just go through all the major, okay. Um, first support. This could be my first support, I think. Uh, this is my first support right here. This could be my second. Okay, and this one could be my resistance. And I put this one at my swing high. Yeah, holiday tomorrow. Yeah, end of Ramadan, yes. <laughs> this one my colleague is on leave this week okay this is some um, okay this um support and resistance okay we have we just take 78.6 okay for this one what about Aussie dollar Aussie Aussie fry high we can use extension if I break above this um high we can use extension this is how I get chart for go right go is falling at least 30, 40 pip already, meaning that this is my um, first resistance, which is very really close to my extension, and this is my swing high. And now the swing high, which I will just use, um, show the extension right there. And my support level, I will put here, which is my first support. And another one is this up here to my second support, okay. Done. You will see if price come here, you guys want to chart, just wait for confirmation. You can see go falling very nicely in the lower time frame. Okay, it's about almost 50 pip. It is 50 pip. Let's just measure. Okay, 30, not yet. 30 pip. Okay, you see 30, 30 pip already. At least scalping. Now we have money in the pocket. Just Either you want to close your position up to you, but I still hold, okay? I still hold my position. The reason I shot here because this is my extension. You hold, you still hold. <laughs> Just now you uh, have a, a quick finger. If yes, and then you will shot from here, okay? Together with me just now, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue. Uh, okay, happy for we have the money for tomorrow. Okay, um, Aussie, Aussie dollar is still rising really strongly. Okay, what about the Kiwi dollar? Kiwi dollar break my, um, let me see. I will use extension. Okay, you will see that how I use my extension to trade. So my, um, I think price could come to uh, 161, 161, uh, extension, okay, price come already, this is my, okay, if price break this, this is going to be your first support, which is pull back support level, you have to move up to your second level. If you want to look at market structure for GV dollar, you know that price is mega low, 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 high, right here. Now they break this low, they break this high, period high. You use Fibonacci and then you know that they pull back at, I think, 50%. You can see at 50%. Then that they pull back here, you go long from here. Okay, and then you use extension for your TP. Okay. Um, your, this is your second resistance. Okay. Wow, go is falling. At least 40 pip already. Okay. Um, I don't, I'm not trade oil, so I got, I don't have any, I never trade oil. Okay, I trade only like major and go. Back to go again. Falling already, guys. Okay, our target, which is 23.54, with first support, which is our TP. Okay, not close. Uh. 
Uh, no, I still hold my, <laughs> I still my, I still hold my um, uh, position for gold. Okay, I still hold. At least I target maybe here, maybe twenty three fifty five. Okay, for for like here. But I already uh set my break even. We'll see. Okay, we will see. We will all the way down. We can falling even more like hundred pip. Should be all the way, all the way down, right? Should be all the way down at least like twenty three fifty five. Okay, we will see. We will see. Um, US five hundred. Let's just look at US five hundred right here. Uh, let's just identify um key level first. Okay, after that. When price come, if you if you were to look at the chart or identify key support and key resistance, okay, you will find like that is very easy to identify if you draw it's like every day like I myself. Okay. This is too far, I might just put here and I just identify this my um swing low and this is just maybe price sideways based on what I can see here for the um, US 500 what about NASDAQ okay NASDAQ uh, we go to the the uh, H4 uh, mm, day you can see that they, they, these are the support day right this um, uh, resistance level if you just pick here just a zoom in a quick one to see right here maybe the body the body here you can see that there is a rejection meaning that there should be something here or control the price over here price try to break above which is they try to like close above cannot these are just close below close below close below okay or is there a close below as well so um i think there will be something here okay let we just adjust the level based on h4 here first support uh first resistance right here second resistance um this is my second resistance okay um for h1 this is your first support this is second support okay okay yeah <laughs> of course you cannot you cannot find me on social okay <laughs> price is falling already because oh i'm tired already so i just uh, keep myself private okay you want to see me just come enjoy the um ic webinar <laughs> okay you will see me and my team like every week okay um Go is falling, I think, to 57, right? And now it's, um, yeah, right here. I think they just bounce up at this level here. Like this 2358 and bounce up already. I think now it's falling 50 pip, right? At least from here to here. Oh, no, 68 pip. Okay, 68 pip. I still hold, guy. I just set my break even already. Uh, we will see whether it's going to, like, toward my, um, my TP or not? Okay, just bought off here. Okay, uh, now go to DJ. Let's just look at DJ. DJ, oh, break everything. Now DJ is at the um extension. Haven't yet. Meaning that I will wait here to chart. Okay, this could be my first. The break. As you can see here, right here, the resistance break above, pull back, go long, go by here. Oh, I have my social media, which I have like link in, okay, but nothing much there. I have a link in account if you want to follow, but you also cannot find me. <laughs> okay, this is uh, okay, let's see the resistance level over here. We is really close to um. Okay, extension here. It's a uh, close. Oh, there might be um seventy eight point six projection. Ah uh, no, uh, just delete it. Just 
for the um okay so this is our oh, price oh sorry price is at my projection so i will just put here is my first resistance okay uh my second resistance based on what we see is maybe like swing high here swing high here you can just put a body but you have to um take a note that it's a bit um extension right here okay i put maybe put here for the dj okay um first support here pull back the second is right here here okay now go is go up again okay go up again do you close the position okay now is that the uh, extension here you can see that um okay not every time go will um you know reverse from that uh, extension you can see that just now go is um falling from this uh, extension here if you if you target like at least uh, for scalping right 30 to 50 pip you already get the money okay but at least at least like 23 65 there are a lot of people waiting to go short or short from this level okay any pair any pair guy we do have about 10 minutes uh two professional link in huh <laughs> yeah i have the link in profile <laughs> okay um okay let me find can we still hold go just hold okay i think uh oh where is my ah you can i can use the eye side any divergent here i can use a stochastic can i see a stochastic here uh crossing already what about h4 um h4 still haven't yet daily uh, actually daily like over or you can see like 85 okay this one also uh, not yet not yet but m15 i saw it closing maybe i see i use on um, this one to find a hidden um resistance level this one could be my uh, hidden resistance here it might fall from here okay i think we'll uh, bounce off from here a little bit falling uh yeah this i just remove okay there's nothing i yeah, will see you still hold or you already closed oh, okay usd say chef um look for you usd uh uh Falling. Okay, toward the support level. Do you have any position? Or oh, H four? The my support level is here. We do have sixty one point eight percent. Um, right. Ah, uh, projection right here. Okay. Um, what about? Do you have any? Okay, if in a uh, H one, it will look like this. Okay, it's still toward the um support level okay price close below okay okay if you were to ask me you say that oh did you see that price is have the like a green color the cloud right they're going to like maybe going to like from bearish to bullish right usually i don't really refer like that okay i look for the bigger pictures uh what you can see here in h4 it seems like this uh um left shoulder head right shoulder okay but what you can see here price cannot make a higher high for the h4 from here like price make a higher high higher low higher high higher low here they make a lower low lower high okay at least i think they will come to this support level but if you want to uh buy from this position uh buy from sorry buy from this support you just wait for confirmation because here a lot of weak right here if you want to highlight the zone just like that okay what about the okay yeah you have to look at the um oh maybe i zoom for you no 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 look at um hash um 
daily oh they are they are at like um, this one is a resistance level for a day but i just put a swing high right here for h4 okay just falling mm. any pair guys how to pronounce your name Sadelmo. Is it Sadelmo? <laughs> if, I, if I say incorrect, I apologize, okay? You still hold go, by the way. Falling again, I still hold. Sad. <laughs> sad, sad, sad. Is it? Any pair I miss out? Okay, I look for you. Or A U D C A G. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have any? Okay. Uh, let's look at the um, daily time frame first. Okay. They are pushing extension. Okay. We see this is um, like resistance level, which is above here. Okay. Now it's approaching your um attention. This is your this is your resistance zone, okay? Your resistance zone is here. Wait, A U A U D C D okay, correct one. Okay. Now it's approaching the zone, meaning that try come to the zone here, you wait for confirmation, okay, and then you can short. At least if you short your target for support you may put this on at the week it's up to you for tp but i put here for my first support right here okay my second support is here okay now it's approaching the zone you can see that touch the zone is pulling back you have to wait first if you if you have confidence to me you will see that i might just enter but there might be a layer in zone you get what i mean layer in zone okay but uh m5 is very beautiful here okay prior at the zone resistance level you can see the rejection this is a prior action okay you can chart if you want to but again you might have if chart here just in case pi go up to this zone and you may layer okay <laughs> or is mean happy in Arabic? Okay, good. Yeah, trade. Uh, trading need to be happy. Okay, you cannot trade with the stress. Okay, any pair you guys want me have a look for you? Five more minutes before in the webinar. Okay, you can wait for M fifteen to close because M fifteen um. You can wait for M15 to close here if you want to. Okay. This is just this is a, uh, M1. Okay, see. Well, let's just see. Okay. Again, there will be a zone here, okay? If you chart here. It chart here just um layer in zone right here but if you want to wait for confirmation like i say a, like um m15 might close with price action here or with red here okay we'll see but m5 to me look nice like that I'm on a four hour waiting to sell. Yeah, I'm 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 at head four to sell, but I like to go to the lower time frame to chart to execute my trade. Okay, if you were to look at H4, this is your zone. This is your sell zone. Okay, this is my sell zone here. Maybe you move it is your sell zone. Better extension. Okay, so that's why price come touch the zone here. You can see the price action here. 
but if you want to wait for HM15 to close, you can wait. Okay, but I myself I will short already. I short thin I see here. Okay, but of course I manage my lot size and I and I will will like if price go up here, I made the layer in so if they come here. But whatever I see here, I will short already at this at this like this price. You just consider, okay. Okay, last 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 pair before I end the webinar. Where is our lovely gold? Falling ah go falling already. Come on, I'm waiting for you at twenty three fifty five. That's my TP. <laughs> um if if you if you come early just now we will short we short in here already. Okay, the reason I short here because um they extension and then I see price action so I short, okay? Blue blue already. Last 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 one last pair. Okay, two word my TP please. <laughs> I'm waiting at twenty three fifty five, which is this should be my TP around, um, maybe somewhere here, but somewhere here. Okay, maybe here. A target at least um how many pip? Hundred pip ninety two hundred pip. Yeah, if come here, okay, if here is almost 100 pip, it's about 90 pip for gold. That's good enough uh, in of today for me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Have you still hold the position or you already closed? Okay, falling already, meaning that DXY is rising, right? Okay, and what about DXY? Don't fall, just continue, go up. Okay, so go can come down. Falling. Okay, guys. So if there is no question, happy holiday. So tomorrow is holiday. Okay. Um. Uh, see you guys again. Um. Next week, which is Monday and Tuesday, you will see us, me and my team. Okay. Just close, not that big like you. Oh, okay. I. <laughs> I don't. This time, if you want to like um hold a position. You can, this is your stop loss, right? Sometimes this is your stop loss, for example. So stop loss, price come down, you move your stop loss right here. At least over here, you 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 got profit already, right? If price go reverse, this is your stop loss, at least it's your money. But if price coming down, you just, you telling stop loss, you move your stop loss right here. Okay? All right, guys. Thank you so much for your time. See you guys again next week. Happy holidays. Thanks for joining. Bye, guys.